Welcome to today's episode. We're going to be installing a 3-2 leveling kit on my dad's truck, his 2022 TRD Off-Road Tacoma. I'm going to pass it off to him and he's going to tell you why he went with this 3-2 torch leveling kit. So yeah, as Trent said, I opted for the spacer lift for my Tacoma. Uh, 22 Off-Road. I enjoyed the way the truck ride. I didn't want to mess with that. And I, listen, uh, let's not kid each other. I, I'm not going to the Baja anytime soon. So... I don't need the $4,000 King suspension. Not that I could even justify the price for that. But for this price, I got on Amazon. I used Trent's link to get on there and uh, saved myself a little bit of money on this. I think it was like $135 bucks originally. It saved, what, 5 10% yeah. with your code? And uh, so, yeah, I'm looking at $130 some bucks for this. And to be honest, it's a pretty well built kit. I looked at different spacer kits, some of them had you know the sh strut spacers that were red which was cool looking and all that but the reason why i went with the torch lift is kind of a two-parter i didn't realize torch everything they did was made in the united states which i know it's an oxymoron i drive a toyota pickup but if i can keep somebody in the united states in business while i drive the best truck ever built i'll go ahead and do that too um the biggest reason i went with the torch is these back blocks they uh, they were the only ones that were angled, so I didn't have to worry about shims, and they uh, keep the rear end pinion angle right. So to me, that was that was a selling point. Uh, all the equipment here seems to be pretty well built. Everything is etched with Torch's name on it, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into this. I'm pretty excited to see how it happens. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, well, you know, you're you're gonna need to have wheel alignment done with that, and and probably so, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it without it just to see where we're at because I don't know if Trent ever touched up on this or touched back on it when he put the Bilstein lift on his truck. Uh, we had an appointment that day set up to have the alignment done, but we went a little bit past our appointment, ended up missing the appointment, and he ended up taking it to an alignment shop that ultimately, what did they tell you? It was like fractions of a fraction off from being perfect. So when we did the whole suspension, it wasn't even out of spec. So we're not going to do it this time and see how it goes. I, I assume that's what it was when I didn't realize that the alignment was actually done with the lower A-arm. So we're not really even messing with that. And as long as it doesn't put the upper ball joint at a binding angle, I can't imagine that it's going to mess with the alignment. But we're going to go ahead and try it anyway. And if we need alignment, of course, we'll go get one done. But uh, yeah, that's it. This is everything we need to do. We got the new U-bolts. We got the rear lift blocks. I'm going to go ahead and drop my front diff. This came with the kit. It wasn't extra, so might as well do it. I feel like that's going to probably save me from having that front wheel bearing hum that some people get and end up doing a clamshell replacement. But we'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Tear into it. Let's go. So we got the truck jacked up here. Wheels are off in the back. We are we got the shock undone. We're taking the leaf packs off the axle here so we can fit that block underneath there. And that's kind of where we're at right now. I'll update you as the process continues. The kit actually came with some pretty good directions and pictures of the actual truck and how to do it that's really bright right now I'm just going over and making sure that the low end of the block goes towards the front to maintain pinion angle so other than that we're getting ready to put these in all right guys so on the driver's side here you want to watch when you drop the axle you want to watch these rear brake lines because they don't have too much slack so as you drop the axle be careful because you will break them so the good thing to do is what we did is do one side at a time so it's at an angle and then that side's higher than this side. Don't drop it down at the same time. You can also probably take the bolt out that bolts that bracket to the axle. It'll give you a little bit more room but you really got to watch you don't kink your brake lines at that point. We think we can go ahead and do it without doing that but if need be we need a little bit more extra slack. We'll, we'll loosen up that bracket and let it free float while we do it. We've got everything put back together in the rear throw the tires on we're gonna be done with the back we got the front wheel off everything's jacked up we're taking the front strut off so we can get that spacer in there 
kind of update of where it's at right now. It's about the rain, it looks like. It's gonna be a good time. We get down low here, right? Crank up the brightness on this. That's where that puck sits right in there. And it's a pretty aggressive lift. Here, see how it rides. So it's done. The torch kit's on. We went three inches in the front, two inches in the back, spacers. Uh, like I said, it was 135 bucks and uh, doesn't sit much lower than his Bilstein lift, other than the fact that he does have some meats on there. We can, we can attest to that. But uh, next up will be tires at some point. I'm going to wear these out first. It didn't seem to change the ride too drastically. Maybe. Maybe it doesn't have as much of the roll in the body as what it used to have. I feel like that did go away a little bit. Trent, yeah. you drove it, what'd you think? Yeah, when we went on the test drive with his stock suspension, it had a bit of body roll compared to mine. And when we lifted it up, it seems to stiffen everything up a little bit. And I think that's mainly because of blocks we put in the rear. I think it all stiffened the rear up pretty good, actually. Yeah, so overall, I'm happy. As you can see, it sits quite a bit higher, torched kit did we did drop the diff in the front one inch because the kit did come with that and uh, with the off-road you have with, two skid plates yeah, with the off-road you have two skid plates so they did send me the spacers for the front skid plate but I'm gonna send them an email and see if they'll give me the spacers for the back skid plate for the to compensate for the diff drop uh, as far as making a big difference we didn't run it without the diff drop we just put it in so Time will tell on that and how it is with the needle bearings in the front and stuff. But as far as I know, pretty much everybody's changing to the clamshell bearing yeah. bushing instead of the bearing. So we'll see. But yeah. other than that, I'm completely happy. Yeah, truck's done up, lift kit on. It'll be down in the description if you guys are interested in this kit. Install wasn't too bad. And another lift kit option if you don't want to go with the Bill 5100. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Check out one of these videos. They're pretty cool. I'll see you in the next one.